um, I do see an album coming out and it's going to be more sultry, soft, uh, romantic, I get that. It's funny, I was just thinking Sagittarius. Welcome or welcome back to another time. My name is Hallie. So grateful to have you all. I have been doing 2024 predictions and I've been enjoying doing them so much. So if you like them, please like the video. And if you want to show to a friend, share to a friend. Now let's get into this. If you wanted to make a suggestion, I do remember I do take a suggestion and if, unless it goes against my community guidelines or rather just my reading guidelines. If you aren't a member, I do take what you have to say strongly into um, consideration. <laughs> yeah, so let's get into it. Okay, so I'm doing Camilla Cabrera 2024 prediction. And yeah, I'm going to start with overall energy, then career, and then love. So her overall energy with the Emperor, Three of Cups, and Ten of Cups. Interesting. So... I see here a new love, definitely. I think they might already be seeing each other. Um, I don't really keep up with the blogs. I tell you guys this all the time. My jam is housewives. I know all about housewives. I could do a housewives trivia, okay? <laughs> but when it comes to celebrities, I don't really know a lot. So if it has been revealed that she's dating him, then I did not know. But I do see somebody in the vicinity. So with the moon, she's really very spiritual. I can tell that. Um, you know, her parents are Cuban. I actually live very close to where she does. Um, I'm, I'm moving rather very close to where she does because I'm moving next week to a new place. Oh, thank goodness. I'm moving back to my old neighborhood. Very happy about that. <laughs> the Queen of Crystals uh, in Miami. I live in Miami. So the Queen of Crystals, you know, she's very fruitful. I see a lot of things coming for her in terms of um, money. I see sponsorships. It's going to be a very good year for her money. Very, very good year. So let's get into this. I'm going to be doing her career next because I really want to see where the money's coming from. <laughs> uh, let's see career, career, career. Um, I see an album. Uh, it might be like an EP at first and then a full album. I do really like that song she sings. I like that album a lot. Um, I do see an album coming out and it's going to be more sultry, soft, uh, romantic. I get that. It's funny, I was just thinking Sagittarius. Oh my god, Sagittarius came out of Temperance. I think she might have some Sagittarius in her chart. I know she's Sun and Pisces. I just don't remember everybody's chart off the top of my head. Um, but with Temperance, Sun of Ten of Wands, excuse me, and Nine of Cups, she's going to look back at different relationships she's had and be inspired by those. Not necessarily the one she's in now, but be inspired by all her relationships in the past. And more of like the love era. Um yeah of her life so with queen of cups you see very emotional she's going to pour a lot of her heart into it that's pisces are very good at doing that very very creative people very good at pouring their hearts into something that they do uh the boss of the deck being ten of crystals i see here lots of fruitfulness coming like i said but this is going to be one of her best years i'm telling you that one of her best best years so let's get into love because I see this person. It might be a little older, uh, dark hair. Sometimes they go with a moustache. I get that. Okay. I get the name George being significant in this person's life. They might have George in their uh, in their name all have George in their family, like a close family member. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah. So, 
this person's very giving. Um, I think they are on the producer front. I don't see them being... If they are, like, um, a face, like, you can put a name to the face, they are kind of like Benny Blanco type, you know? So, Six of Crystals, the Hierophant. I'm using the Star Child Tower, by the way, for this. Um, Six of Crystals, the Hierophant, and Perspective. So, I see here, she is going to take more of like a step back in her life and just allow her music to speak. She's not two of cups going to be, and this is my, this was my criticism of her before. I said that I feel like she seems very fame hungry. Um, so she's learning from that. I think I wasn't the only one that said that. She's learning from that and now she's not going to be as fame hungry. She's going to be more like, okay, let my music speak for, and you know, it is difficult because when you're younger, they will promote, I used to be a publicist, so I'm very familiar with the different tactics you have to use to get your name out there. Um, and a lot of it, most of the time, you have to use a relationship to get your life out there. Um, so I think that's why she has been, you know, you'll be pushed a lot by a publicist, by management, to have a public relationship so that it is out in the open and your name gets out there, you know, you do promos together and stuff like that. So I think now she's taking a different route and she's allowing her, because she's very, very talented. It's just the other stuff, like her fighting with people and so forth and so forth, just detracts from people really listening to her music. And I think this album is going to be like, you know, I don't know if you guys know Maria Aguilar, oh my gosh, she has this beautiful song. I forgot what it's called, but it's very beautiful. It's I know that her parents are from Cuba and Maria Aguilar is Mexican. But that traditional custom music, you know, is I think is very beautiful. It's soft, it's elegant, and that is going to have I wouldn't be surprised if Maria Aguilar is one of her influences. Um, but she has this one song, I forgot the name of it, but it's very beautiful, raw, and sultry, yet elegant. And I see her going that direction. Especially with Six of One, she's going to be making different moves than she's been making before. So, I see that very strongly. Uh, I did... Okay, I haven't done love yet. Let's do love. <laughs> I've been doing so many readings, I'm like... Have I done Korea? Have I done love? So let's do love. <clears throat> okay, so Serenity, High Priestess, Five of Crystals. So, yeah. This person, oh no, I did do love, oh my gosh, but I feel like it was more career, so I will expand and do um, love. This person is coming into her life, like I said, that is older, I guess his name has like George in it, or somebody close to him in his life is George, but, or Jorge, but she's going to really be calmer now, yeah, she's going to be calmer, that is what I picked up before with the world and just allow with the magician at the bottom of the deck allow her manifestations the craziest story okay i really believe in manifesting i used to drive past this apartment when i was looking for places to live last year and i was like if only i could find out about that place so i called the place no answer so i gave up i was looking for apartments this year and the apartment that i wanted popped up on an app that um, advertises vacant apartments. So I was like, okay, I applied to it. And next thing I know, <laughs> I get a call to go see it. And I'm like, okay, I put in a lot of effort into it. I made sure I had all my paperwork done. I didn't hear back from them. I had given up. And long story short, 
I'm moving into the apartment. So manifestation is very, very real. I just had to tell you guys that story because I feel like things like that happen to her. Where she'll like manifest something, forgets about it, and it's coming. And I think 2024 for her will be a year like that. There are lots of things that she manifested are coming to fruition. Love, career. It's going to be a very good year for her. So I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.